The Jordan Schnitzer Museum of Art opened April 6, 2018 to probably the largest number of attendees for any opening at Washington State University. Because we are a Pac-12 university, it is important that you have a museum that reflects the academic excellence that you have on your campus. The architect was Jim Olson of Olson Kundig Architects in Seattle, Washington, and his principal was Stephen Rainbow, who's a Pullman kid. It's really just a joy and a thrill to be able to come back to your campus and be able to uh, work on something that's going to be here for next generations. From the very beginning, Jim Olson was concerned about how do you get light on a facade specifically that's facing north, where you're not going to get a lot of direct sunlight, and also how do you make an animated facade that can keep up with the Cathedral of Football that's right across the street and then the Student Union Building. Putting art at the center, the heart of a campus was really important. We wanted a jewel box. We wanted a shining emblem because we're literally in the center of campus. We are prime real estate right here. And what could we really do to bring attention and foci to this space? Well, you can't do much more than having a bright red cube that reflects everything around it. So every moment of this building was a thought process that Jim had that not only combined his vision, but every single vision that we had as a staff here at WSU. I really galvanized towards this idea of you have this window where students are coming to the campus and their mind is as open as it's going to be. This is your chance to connect them with art. So in a way, the reflectivity of the building is a lens for students and for people that are coming to the museum to see themselves maybe in a different way, in an artistic way perhaps, to see the landscape reflected around them, see the context of the campus reflected around them, and maybe by switching their perspective a little bit, they might want to know more and maybe go inside and see what art can do for you. The building, of course, is historically known as the fire station. And we kept the main footprint of the fire station and added 20 feet to the left-hand side of the space to create the gallery that I'm sitting in now. So as you're walking through the space, if you look down at the floor, you can literally see the history of this facility. It has a historical significance for WSU. We always defer to that history when we talk about the spaces we're walking people through so that they understand that it's a building not only for the arts, but it's a building that represents WSU and its many facets. This museum is for everyone on campus. Jordan Schnitzer came in with the largest donation, therefore giving the building his name. Jordan is a philanthropist and a developer from the city of Portland, and he is an art junkie. He loves art. He has a massive collection. For him, it is about sharing that collection and his vision for how important the arts are to especially students at universities to be engaged and actively pursue opportunities to have relationship with art and what that does to open their minds to their education, to the process of questioning, to the process of engaging other people in conversations. There are so many different things that we're exploring that we've always thought about and harbored these great ideas but haven't really had the place or space to do so, and now we do. We are welcoming the world here. We've had more visitors in the past couple of months than we sometimes have in a full year in our old space. As we move forward, not only have we been charged with ensuring that every single WSU student walks through the door of this facility, we want every kid from the K through 12 environment within a 100 mile radius to come into this facility. We have established an endowment for a program that actually pays for the busing for students to come here. So the idea of being world class is this idea of welcoming the world right here in Pullman. She was definitely a labor of love. 
It's a vision that came to fruition in such an incredible way. She reflects not only the art and the education and all that we do here in the museum and WSU, but it reflects the people who work here and the team that put this place together.